That's how you're feeling right now? Yep. <coughs> if you can feel me. <coughs> Jesus. <laughs> Welcome back to Hot Dabs. This is the show with hot takes and even hotter rippers. I'm your host, Hasha Veli, and today we are joined by Marcos, founder of CGO, handcrafted hand rolls out of Northern California, known for being some of the tastiest in the entire market, and founder of the National Hash Hole Day. Marcos? What's up, guys? How you doing? Thanks We're... for joining us today. Hey, I appreciate you, man. It's an honor, man. Gotta love it. He's been ripping hot dabs before we even started. He was ripping like .5s at 700, and I was like, dude, you might want to save some of those for the show. And he's the first guest that's going to be going live today. So some of you are getting a sneak peek as this is going down. At CGO underscore lifestyle is his page. Um, you can always catch him with some uh, hash hole, big ripping dab, antics, hot dabs. Today, we're going to be starting out at 575 degrees. Oh, let's go. That's not bad. No, that's that's pretty simple right there. And since we're starting at 575, I think I actually already have my mail ready. Because oh, shit. today, I'm going to be using a disorderly conduction Cobra coil behind me. So my nail is heating up as I did the intro. It's coming in at too hot on my dab right right now. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a head start on you, but you're welcome to get torched up. Do you uh -huh. need that nail? Do you want to use this hot dab nail? I just yeah, I just oh, let her I okay. just let her get warmed up. I want to check out the tech over there. I was really intrigued by it. Dude, it's nice. So I'm gonna pull this dabber very quickly off the Apex Ancillary board, and I got a special treat today because everybody knows my favorite strain is garlic juice, and I never really release any of it because we save enough to just smoke it year round. But today I decided to bust out something special because we had Marcos coming through. He made the drive all night from Sacramento, so I busted out a jar of our garlic juice. I'll show the cool. camera after I take this rip. I'm at 600, so we're going in at 575. Cheers. We're going bareback on the first one. Jesus. And as we take our first dab, <coughs> it's usually customary that I ask our guest <coughs> about their first dab. Man. Where was it? What was it? Who were you with? This is a little segment we Bro. like to call. So, uh, uh, dab out of a glass or dab out of anything? Because, man. We'll go anything you, first. Let's well, hear it. you know, the first, like, my first real dab was out of the, I like, a real, like, it was one of those fucking nectar collectors. Dude. <laughs> Somebody said they saw somebody doing a competition judging jars with a nectar collector and just putting them right Aww. in the jar and then complaining about shit tasting burnt. Like, bro, how are you going to regulate the heat? <laughs> Do you remember what it was that you dabbed out of? Uh, <laughs> like, what the shit? It was, it, it had to be some, I know it was some bow. Had to be some bow. Hopefully it wasn't no CRC. <laughs> you never you, know. Yeah. But I feel like if it was way back in the day, it was before the CRC tech, like when we Definitely, started that. Yeah. yeah. So it was just shit. Like, it you know, was, they weren't even trying to conceal it. Really, It was though. just like, that's what you were getting. It was that shatter for sure. Sarah, if you pull up my phone, we'll show everybody at home. This is the garlic juice. So this is a papaya GMO cross, but this is our outlier pheno that doesn't turn out like either of his parents. As Cannabis Chris would say, you're not dating a strain for its mother or its father. You're in it for the main chick. No, literally, that oh, thing is so nice. beautiful. Yeah, I did grab one. It's oh. Amazing. I love the color of it. And the convenience behind that Cobra coil behind us was right. clutch. No sound, right. no oh, weight. There it is, 575. And as he takes his first dab, we like to remind everybody at home about D2T. <sighs> D2T is the dab to temp ratio. <laughs> so the combination of the size dab you're going in with the temperature. You don't want to over flood the nail at a low temp with a large dab or you're just going to waste it all. And you don't want to go in at a very hot temp with a tiny dab or it's just going to get charred immediately. <coughs> that looked like a good D2T. How would it taste? Actually, it was really nice. The exhale smells oh. amazing. It smells like somebody lit a blunt up in here. This garlic juice is just... Man, it's a... Uh, it lingers. It sits right there. 
um do you get subtle any? it's earthy you know uh not too like overwhelming with like you know the gmo terps or would you say um what's the word they're like offensive almost yeah no it's it's they're like it's, raunchy usually but this one in right. my opinion it's almost like more of a sour what do you say right. no papaya notes it really eat. it's a, like a, an outlier pheno kind of a unique to its own yeah I, man that was so good i, I like think it. i might need another one it's 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 sitting nice i'm gonna I toss this right back on the cobra coil and we don't usually do this but i'm gonna go in on a second dab for our first dab of the day at 575 i'm gonna do a second one because i love this garlic juice no that's <laughs> So you told us about your first dab. Let's go back a little bit farther to your first time actually smoking weed. We're yeah. talking reefer, cannabis flower. Yeah. Do you remember uh, your first time smoking? Did you get high? Some people say they don't get high. <laughs> well, shit. Yeah. The first time was, yeah, I got high because we went to my, uh, my cousin's dad, and he had fire. It was always a little fucking nickel sack. Mm-hmm. Fucking little dime baggy type thing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The whole shit. And it, I ain't gonna lie, we smoked that shit, got high as hell. <laughs> uh, but then I remember fucking trying, uh, before that was the, the Jimmy and Penny Bammer weed. What was it? It's, uh, it's just some brick weed. That was, Jimmy they and would, Penny? Yeah, it was just Whoa. a couple. Oh, okay. Sack, you know, they would, they would, you know, if you knew, you knew, you know, and they had it, it was just like, you know, everybody get their bammer from them, mm -hmm. and it it would not really get you high, but fuck, it, it would do the job. How cheap was it? <laughs> Five bucks for an eighth. Damn. <laughs> and they had one of the, the little bags literally fucking packed to the brim. It was oh, crazy. Was it like straight brown? Yeah, it was, it was brick weed. Yeah. So back then, what was it like? Were you growing up in Sacramento at the time? Always yeah, look out, yeah. yeah. Yep, what, what was the flower like growing up? Was there well, good stuff? Did there's you start always fire, but you know, if there was just that one outlet to having the bammer. If they were some the ones, Jimmy yeah, and Penny. Jimmy and Penny had the bam. So they, they were the kings it. of the bammer and they, sack. Psh, if, if, if all you had to say sack, a Jimmy and Penny sack, and they uh, people know. So if you're from Sacramento watching at home, drop that Jimmy Penny sack. Drop your favorite Jim. <laughs> that Jimmy and Penny, and Penny story. And you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. are they still around? Do you still keep in touch with them? I, I I think they're. I think they moved to, and they like just live permanently like on a vacation. Yeah, shoot, they made it then, right? It seems that way because they're nowhere to be found. All right, I'm going in on a second dab here. We don't usually do this, but this garlic juice is too good not to. Um, so what was like your first sack of something that was amazing that you remember? Mm. Um, this is probably, probably, oh, I ain't gonna lie. I, I still remember it because it just popped in my head when you said that. Was the orange crush. Orange which crush. Was, yeah, which was like, you know, it uh, wasn't real tangy, but it was like a, a little different. Um, <coughs> was it citrusy or was it more like almost like Skittles before Skittles? Uh, it was like a orange tree type vibe, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. But but more subtle on the not too too much citrus, you know what I mean? Like because you know how orange tree <coughs> got that citrus. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever have any like run-ins with the law or get in any trouble with like your family oh, when you were smoking back in the day, like first starting? Um, I ain't gonna lie, my 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 first weed charge was like I was hella old, but I never really got in trouble with the weed. Mm -hmm. But just one time when I got pulled over, I had like a big old garbage bag full of weed. <laughs> it was actually in a garbage bag. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. in a big black bag. It was just like <laughs> hell of like. Honestly, it was like bees, smalls, and uh, like medium-sized nugs. It was just like a fucking, I would say like seven pounds in there. And then the cops were like, what do you got all this weed for? And at that time, like I wasn't rolling weed. I was like, you know, just, it was kind of like a, a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't steal it or nothing, but it was like a gift. So mm -hmm. I was just like, well, fuck, make some money then, shit. You told this to the cops? No, I ain't telling that. I ain't telling that. But, they're, yeah, because they're like, where do you get the weed at? I was like, I don't know. I just got it. Mm -hmm. From who? I don't know. So, you know, you don't care for what you say to people. Mm -hmm. No, nah, but, um, yeah, so, you know, and uh, they were trying to tow my car. They were trying to arrest me. 
And they couldn't because I'm a license, so we're good to go. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, were you legally allowed to hold that much? No. No. But I, they gave me a ticket and they took my weed. Yeah, that's the nice thing about being in California. But see, yeah, that, blessings, man, because <laughs> they were trying to get me for sales. Yeah. They were like, this is enough for distribution. <laughs> um, speaking of, like, how lucky we are to be in California... Uh, compared to other states, if you get caught with seven pounds in like Texas or some shit, then you're not just gonna get a ticket and <laughs> drive away. Um, I don't think so. How do you uh, navigate like the challenges, or can you give some insight into like some of the the complexities with the state as far as like the regulations? Like, is it tough knowing like how much you're allowed to um, travel with? Like, do the do the laws uh, seem like they switch up often or is it easy to kind of stay between the lines when it comes to like what's legal I mean, and what's not i mean honestly i mean it just varies on the person's lifestyle because like uh for myself and for i mean others i can't say but like you know there's people that you know uh fucking have a pound of weed on them all, all times like you know mm-hmm. fucking smoke out of the pound you know it's normal some people have a couple pounds on them because they like to have flavors and they're just, you know, they have units and they're like, I'm smoking this shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, then there's some people with only a couple ounces. So it's like, it it, it, it varies, you know? Uh, sucks. <laughs> um, you know, it sucks because like, you know, if we, uh, if we had, you know, more freedom, which, you know, which is like you said, regulated. It's like, mm-hmm. you can only carry up to two ounces. Mm-hmm. You can only, just like with, uh, my, oh boy, like, what's his name, Caleb or? Who? What's his name, the guy from Connected? He got arrested Did for two, two ounces of weed at the at the airport and shit, really? you know? Yeah, and it's like, I didn't damn. Know that. Yeah, 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 I was like, damn, I was like, that fucking sucks. It's like, so it's like, you know, you got some people fucking traveling with, with who knows how much fucking, you know? And then, like, that's why I like, don't fly out of Sacramento. Mm-hmm. Hot. Um, Sacramento is kind of known for having really good uh, weed, so you've kind of been lucky growing up in that regard. Are there any other places that you think is, like, a, a good uh, geographical location that's always known for having fire? Yeah, that's humble. <laughs> yeah, because it like trickles down. Mm-hmm. It goes like from up there down to us, and then from us to like everywhere else, you know. And then like we get all of their their knowledge gets sent down to like us, mm-hmm. and then we get the knowledge, and then it goes keeps just you know goes out trickles like down to LA. Yeah, it trickles down everywhere, you know, like worldwide, you know. What I mean, like everywhere, like. Um, and it's crazy because like, like we all have like everywhere, like wherever in the in the whole nation, there's people growing immaculate fire. Like I've smoked some amazing weed from fucking New York, and it was smoking. I was like, wow, and they smoking some fire out mm-hmm. here. And it's different because it's like you know they're really letting you know like, hey, we really only grow living soil out here. Mm-hmm. And like you know the way they uh, they uh, what's the word label it. You mm-hmm. know they're like how many days flower, like water, you know, the whole little get down. I'm like, in Cali, we have that, but we don't have it. Yeah, it's more of like on the craft growing. Right. You know? And it's like over it's there, it's like a lot of them, like a lot of the masses over there do it. That's the norm. That's norm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's all indoor over there that you were uh, trying? Yeah. No, it was just pretty much indoor. You know, shout out to Flavors. 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 Flavors, yeah. yeah, they'd be growing some fire out there. Do you want to rip another one at the first temperature or do you want to move on to the. Do you want to I'm with it all, man. We could spin, we could whatever you want to do, big dog. You know let's, let the, let's let the people choose. What do you guys want to see? Yeah, should we rip one more bonus dab at the first temp or should we just move on to the second temperature? I think it might be time for the second temp. I think it's time for the second yeah. temp, too. All right, for the second temp today, we're going to be going in at. 600 degrees. Let's go. We forgot to write our tent down on the board. I'm going to fuck up halfway through the show, probably. <laughs> and for our second dab of the day, we're going to be going in on this brand new, this is just dropping, uh, Real Good Resin Valley Grove collab. And this is the pink 
Zaza. Pink Zaza. Yeah, look at that. Mm, John Travolta on the side. Oh, that's yeah. hard. Look, the packaging goes crazy. Sick, Can right? Wow. Oh, yeah, that's, that's neat right there. I love it. I love the UV print. It pops out. So we'll, we'll show off this drawer. This is between Valley Grove and Real Deal Resin. Valley Grove is a farm in Sonoma County. They're coastal grown. And these genetics are from uh, Sog Army. The pink Zaza is, um, it's almost like a, a perfume. It's like a dank perfume. I'll show how wet it is. This is from the 2023 full term harvest. And since we're going to be going in at 600 degrees, I think we up the D2T. 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 All right, up in it. What so, do you think? So what do you think and how much? 0.4? Yeah, 0.4. Sounds about right. This might be 0.5. Maybe 0.3. We got, we're going to have to figure out, uh, we're going to have a scale on deck eventually so we can just start getting the exact measurements, because we're just eyeballing these, but it has to be about a point four there. Oh, really? I thought this was like a point three. Yeah, yeah it's about the same size. Yeah. See? We know how to eyeball it. Right. Yeah. I'm going to see if this Cobra coil can get me up to the 600. If not, I'm just going to top it off with a torch, but I think all i got to do is turn it up and we'll be good. All right, moving on a little bit. How did you get the inspiration to start your brand? Uh, I was talking to Ooh. Michael a little bit before your interview, and I said, what should I ask him today? And he said, "Tell, ask him how the fuck he took over the industry so quickly, because some people say <laughs> you came out of nowhere. You know, Mike, Michael said he came out of nowhere past year, you know? So give us the backstory a little bit. How long uh, has CGO actually been around? Well. And what is it all about? All right, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it 100, you know? I'm always going to be real. So, um when i first uh i got inspired was when the homie had a all tied up roll and uh he was hell excited like and I ain't a tie stick oh yeah no well, it was just like a, a hash hole oh okay and i was gonna be i ain't gonna lie like i was intrigued i was like hell i wanted to fucking smoke one too because i haven't tried one and you know i heard about it so then um so then i was like man i was like I thought about it, I was like, well, fuck, I'm excited. I'm over here like, you know, like, damn, this is dope. I wanna be able to give that same feeling to everyone. Mm -hmm. And I wanna be able to give it to people at the at a good, cheap cost, good flavors, the whole shit. And then, uh, yeah, so, you know, fucking, uh, I, I thought about it, I was like, well, there it is there, there's the, there's the, the missing component, like the scarcity of it. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. This pink Zaza is fucking fire. It's like a. If you guys like haze, it's like a haze perfume. Oh yeah, I gotta fucking switch this off then. That's awesome. Some of the best, in my opinion, brands are always created out of. People not looking to sell something, but right. looking to create an experience. Right. And that's exactly what you're explaining. Right. You wanted to bring that feeling of mm -hmm. excitement to pre to people. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm fucking stoned already. But <coughs> it's that joy that you had that made you in turn. It's like the butterfly effect, you know? Like right. you feeling good about that experience led you to wanting to provide it to other people. Right. So then I was like, man. And that thought of I was like, so hard to get these. I want it to be easier and I wanted to like shed more light on it because like i was like man i know there's rollers out here like there's people that are really getting down doing this shit already been doing it been doing it like years mm -hmm. you know and then like like you said i came out of nowhere like damn <sighs> say report my camera <sighs> 600 <laughs> 600. U2T on point, still good taste, right? Really good. You get those haze notes? Yeah, definitely on the back end. On the XL for sure. <coughs> Shout out Valley Grove, they crushed this run. All right, so back to what you were saying. 
you had that pleasant experience you wanted to create. Right. How did you start to go about it? So then <clears throat> I was like, all right, well, I want to do this rolling. So <clears throat> I'm like, I had got some lessons from my cousins on a couple other like things on how to be successful in certain other areas mm -hmm. of entertainment, you know? And uh, <clears throat> I didn't really want to <clears throat> go that route <clears throat> with, you know what I mean? <clears throat> like entertainment and getting like, like being able to build my social status amongst the people. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't want to do that uh, with music. So I was like, I got to figure it out. Uh, <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> <coughs> like I said, I, <coughs> I found um, I was, the experience of that all tied up household, and then me like, like not being able to ha have it access to it. So I'm like, all right, well then that's what we create. And then in order to create something, you have to invest in it, right? So it's like, got to spend a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know. <clears throat> and it's like when you don't have money. Spend it anyways, mm -hmm. <coughs> because you're gonna get it back. Investing in yourself. <coughs> but you're investing in yourself. And I didn't, at first, like, I didn't know, like, <coughs> I didn't know exactly where, didn't know where this was gonna go. So I was just like, I really love the rolling. So like, like it was dope. Like I already always was that one, like, oh, I'll roll it. Like, you know what I mean? You know how everybody mm -hmm. like yeah, in the crew, one, yeah. they want that designated, and we got a designated roller. Like, oh, that's the homie, he rolls mm -hmm. it. Like, you know, <coughs> so like, <coughs> there's already been rollers before. People didn't even know they're a roller, but like, there's people that like, what, I could fucking roll. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, I can get paid doing that? Mm -hmm. Like, like we got the homie from Texas when he came out here and showed him that you can get paid for fucking rolling. He was like, what? Psh, sign me up. And mm -hmm. he, he rolls like 150, 200 a day. That's crazy. Making almost $1,000 a day. Like literally, I'm like, damn. And every single one of your rolls are hand <coughs> <coughs> Definitely. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> And it's it's catching up. Uh, yeah, it's gonna keep catching up because we're not even halfway through yet. Yeah. So you decided uh, since you were already the best one in your crew that you could train other people to roll in your style and right. kind of be able to scale up the brand. Right. What does CGO stand for, by the way? Uh, connoisseur grade only. Boom. So. So obviously you were looking for only the highest inputs the, too. The best, yeah, definitely. You know, always looking for the doing the. the, the excuse me, I'm high. Yeah, doing yeah. the best collaborations, you know, so that was also where, you know, like how it started in the beginning, like first collaboration was uh, the homie from Lodi, Swiss Farms. Mm -hmm. He wanted like a thousand woods. Like, Damn. Like, like backwoods. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first contract was like literally like a thousand backwoods. I never took a backwood contract after that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say I'll let you know that. How long? <coughs> how long did that take you? <coughs> Myself, <coughs> it took me like a month, literally. Jesus Christ! Yeah, because I rolling. was up, I was up all night rolling those things. Like I go live, people see me rolling that shit, and that's where it started. Like people were like, "Damn, this was like all night rolling." <laughs> Holy shit! They're like he's still on here, you know what I mean? And then. Like we have followers from fucking all over the world. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like you got these people on there. I forgot where you live. <laughs> I know. I told you um, you forget where. <laughs> um. So then, like, uh, yeah, you know. So like so people be up like all night. seeing yeah, so seeing the people seeing the people like inspired by that. Like exactly. it was crazy because like you know a lot of people in Sacramento, not just Sacramento, but a lot a lot of the people like rolling community. They tend to get they're like, you know, you inspired my role and me rolling and it's like they're like me watching you roll at night or whatever always seeing you roll like that was like damn. Bro, that's, that's crazy. that butterfly effect. It's just like how you got inspired. You created it already, right. you know? <clears throat> right. So you're so, building it up from there. Your your, <coughs> your community is, is kind of following because they like the work that they see you hustling. Right. So then and then like, you know, then what the uh, what what was the next collab after the backwoods? When did you start doing oh, the Oh, joints? then it was uh then then it was the uh Sherbzilla. You know oh, what I'm saying? Who's that from? Uh it was a Sacramento brand, I believe. 
Uh, we had did some his the the sherbet and some other stuff. I forgot. I ain't gonna lie. And then uh, from there it went to uh, oh, <coughs> well with Sherbzilla I was like well, to me I have to market this the right way, so I had to figure out I had to get a cameo <coughs> made. You had to get a what? Cameo made for the for the rolling aspect of it. So then uh, whew, I'm high as fuck. <laughs> So then, uh, fucking, uh, I was like, all right, well, who am I going to have make this video? At that time, I was like, the best person I would feel to make this video would be Young Chowder, which is Burner's cameraman, mm -hmm. Young Chowder and Yoshi. So I was like, got to use them because they're the best right now, and they're doing it for the GOAT. So it's like, that was like two years ago. Mm -hmm. Like So that's when it started, like two years ago. So you had them do a video Well, now you? it's almost like three, almost. But, huh? You had them do the, the first video for yep, you? Yeah, the, uh, the, the uh, cameo video for Sherbzilla. Yeah, came out really dope. Yeah? Yeah. <coughs> and then from there, I think. And did you just DM them? You didn't know them prior? Nah, nah, I had a, uh, they had, I don't know how they, they seen, they seen my, uh, they seen my, uh, they seen my account. And they hit me up. They're like, hey, you do rolling? Because I think they seen the woods. They're like, uh, you do rolling? I was like, yeah. They're like, man, we want to get some rolls made. Mm -hmm. And I think they had seen that video. So that video had kind of like, it was like, boom, for the next the next brand. Because the next brand was, who was it? Uh, I think it was, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was Doja. Uh, they supplied the flour? Yeah, no, we had, uh, I had convinced them uh, to do the hash holes because I was like, hey, this is going to be cracking mm -hmm. off with these. You guys got to do it. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't do it, you're going to be fucking missing out on money. Mm -hmm. And so, like, this is like two or three years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I was like, all right. I was like, they're like, all right, fuck it. We'll try it. We'll do a thousand. Did a thousand and they sold out. They're mm -hmm. like, we need to do more. more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's do more. You know what I mean? Because I was like, man, this is this is really going to be your 10. Look where we're at today. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I thought somebody else was going to create a holiday for the hash holes like a year ago. Mm -hmm. But I was like, nobody did it. And then so I was just like, uh, we did hash hole island. That was fun. One of the questions that we had from the people online was, why did you have it on a Tuesday? Cause we're going up on a Tuesday. <laughs> McConan. Like, you know, <laughs> if I wish I had enough money to get that guy to perform. That, that would be cool, right? Lit. Hey, McConan, if you're watching next year, we need you on a Tuesday. We need you on, nah, it won't be, it on, won't a be on a Tuesday. <laughs> we're going to pick a weekend. I promise I'll pick a weekend this time. It's still going to be in Ileton though, you guys. So I just want to let you know, it's still going to be there. Uh, what, uh, when's that going to be? This is probably going to be I think, it's, I think we should do it in September, Ooh, honestly. Uh, I'm well, next year, fall next year, yeah, yeah. 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 Honestly, because uh, we did it in August and it was hot as fuck. Yeah? Yeah. It was hot as fuck. So it'll be a little bit cooler in September. Now, yeah. I see you about to heat up over there. I just did yeah, another bonus another dab. Game. I'm doing some yeah. um, some bonus activity. What? Do you want to do a bonus dab or do you want to kick it up to the next? I'm ready to go. Ready to kick it up? I'm ready to All keep right. going. For I'm, this I'm next. Cl climbing the mountain, brother. <laughs> for this next temperature, we're going to be going in at... 650 degrees. Oh, yeah. And now, a word from our sponsor. What brand do you really trust for all your stuff? Bras and Evolution from everything from their wash bags to their whipping tools. Dang, they got all that stuff? They do. Ooh, baby. <laughs> wash bags. Wash bags. Parchment paper. Parchment paper. Whipping tools. Whipping tools. Bras and bags. Bras and bags. No blowouts. All bags. Every bag size. Bras and Evolution. Squish it all. Yeah. 
<laughs> Got him. There we go. I'm gonna need a bigger. I'm gonna need a bigger dab now. D two T. Yeah. All the way in the corner. Oh, thank you guys. I was looking uh, at that one. We do have the board up. That'll remind me where we're at. Cause I start getting so stoned, I forget the time. <laughs> but we are at 650, and this is a brand new collaboration with. Guru Cannabis, Ashok the Guru. Oh, this is shout that out. Stone Cold Sour. Man, now I, I regret not bringing my banger. Look at this. Oh, that's sexy. You know Stone Cold? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'll show everybody at home. This is the Stone Cold Sour. Fucking high. What's up? <laughs> All right. The jar is literally breaking. I see them hot dabs. How you feeling? I'm high as fuck. Them, them uh, two dabs in the beginning are a little over excessive. You think? I'm uh, feeling it. For sure, I'm like, yeah. Next time, take some little baby dabs. This is the Stone Cold Sour. What's your favorite chirp profile, big dog? You know, uh, it's funny, they asked us that at the competition yesterday, and I answered, I answered garlic juice, because this is my favorite thing to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you like GMO terps, huh? And then, yeah, everybody says that, because I make fun of papaya, and they're like, oh, ooh, you don't like papaya, because it's a cross. Guess yeah. what, this is the outlier. It's totally different. But I love honey banana. Mm. No, honey banana is pretty good. What about you? Bro, I love all the turps, but I like a good, I ain't gonna lie, I like a, a citrus turp, bro, I can't lie. You like lemon? Um, or do you like I do like lemon food? bean, bro. Lemon yeah. beans, that lemon bean, bro. I want some good ass lemon bean, that shit's fire. Um, but I like, you know, I like some, like, the super boo fucking, Dude. like that turp right there. It's not even tangy to me. That's like mandarin and like peach. Like peach is almost like, it's like, so good. I mm. love the super booth, honestly, and some people give it a bad rap, but uh Man, they just they never took a took a dab out of a freaking good rig with a nice banger at the right temperature with the right amount of fucking rosin or melt, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's all about the experience, you know. Who's who's dab tending for you, you know? And there's a lot of variables. Uh, like, what are you uh, putting into the banger? What type of banger is it? You know. Yeah. Shout out to Toro. <laughs> He's my Toro. Man, shout out to Guru, man. I should have bring it. Oh, did you get one of those? Yeah, I got ones? a bigger one like that. But fucking yeah. Yeah, shout out Guru Cannabis. We're smoking on that. Guru. He just got a new drop, too. Yeah, he did. He did. He got those new slides and stuff. The slides are crazy. Have you seen those? The ones you put the dabber down on the side? Huh? The ones that you put the dabber down on the side? The oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The slides, bro, that shit's pimp. Is, that shit's pimp. But we finally got a fucking 11 mil for this basso. Everybody watched me uh, throw a nail out of this on the Thanksgiving special. This is the Damn. first episode we've been able to use this. But since this is our third dab of the day, yeah. you have an option. What's up? A what little choice. Right. Choice of Rooney. Alright, I like choices. Everybody got choices. Yep. Yeah. I'm ready. Alright, so if you so choose, instead of doing this dab off your conventional little uh, dabber, yeah. you can take that rig on the go. We can turn around and we can have Tony Hawk himself come in out of retirement. He gave up skateboarding and the only 900s he does now is off a dab rig. And we can have Tony Hawk squish this hash right behind me off this low temp plates using yeah. rosin evo paper. Yeah. And you can catch the drip directly oh, into your yes. banger. That sounds fun. A little segment we like to call Fresh Off the Press. Fresh Off the Press with CGO. Let's go. You want to do it? Hell yeah. All right, Tony Who Hawk. Put Who the would? skateboard down. He's back there doing ollies. <laughs> This is Tony Hawk, a.k.a. the Rosin What's Associate, up? a.k.a. Go. the big I'm master ready. squisher. Yes. What are we squishing today? We're squishing some 
Julius Caesar. Julius, Julius Caesar. Caesar. This one is going to be phenomenal. It's like a great profile, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, be I'm careful. I'm excited, bro. Let me get my 650 ready. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We got to put it in, let it grease. All right. I'm going to take it in a minute, Dab. Huh? I'm gonna take another dab while we oh, wait. Oh, you're gonna do it while we wait? Yeah, just nice. an inter intermittent dab. Are you ready? Okay. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my fans pick. He's what you guys want? Hey, all 14 of y'all, what you guys want me to take a dab at? Do I'll let this. you guys pick. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the Stone Cold. Stone Cold Sour. <laughs> that loser, that ain't fucking Tony Hawk. <laughs> 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 this is Tony That's Hawk. That's fucking Tony Hawk, you fucking idiot. This is Tony Hawk, dude. Dude, you guys are fucking tripping, bro. Partying fucking in the back, business in the front. This is a real Tony Hawk, bro. Quit playing. Put some respect on that man's name. You just don't recognize him because he's not on his skateboard. Bro, Mac, why you gotta be hella gay and say 750, bro? Oh, they wanted you to do dry dab. Bro, he was over there like, oh yeah, give me that Miyagi. No, they wanted you to dump the water out of your rig and do no, dry dab. No, I'm on a Miyagi hit. Fuck that, I'd rather do the Miyagi. You want to do a Miyagi off of the press? Ready? This thing's ready, mm. this thing's going already. Oh shit, I'm just going to take it off of this. You're going to do that? Yeah. Okay, we'll save this. Yeah. Uh, we'll save, don't worry, it's my not nerves, going anywhere. My nerves started going everywhere right now. Uh-oh. Fucking Mac with it your, oh, 750, 750. You said you're at 650. We're gonna turn around. We're gonna get this fresh. Oh, All right. the press. Fresh off the press. Be careful with your uh, my cord. cord. Yeah, yeah gotcha. How are you, fucking? You guys, here we what go. Let's go. All right, you ready? Bring it over. All right. Uh, it still says too hot, bro. Well, I don't know. that's gonna be too bad. Bit. You're gonna have to take it too hot, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Damn it! Oh, oh, oh where's my oh, cap? Oh, oh. I'm just gonna get going. You got a cap? You get a cap for him? Yep. Here you go. <sighs> there it is. <coughs> 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 Definitely did that 900 right there. That you know smells <laughs> terrible. It might have been a, it might have been a 720. He went in for a quadruple dipper. That's the first time ever. What are you gonna call that move? First time ever quadruple nice. dip. Oh, that's five cinco dip. The Marcos. He just CGO'd it. That nail is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, folks. Fresh off the press. <laughs> My squeaker's broke. Boom! <coughs> Alright, I'll do mine. My squeaker's broke. Damn, son! Where'd you find those lungs? Let's try this. Jesus! <coughs> what do you think? That was fun. So what was your next collab after? Was the C uh, was the CGO uh, Dojo collab the one that kind of really put you guys on the map? <clears throat> well, we did a couple others. Honestly, we did the Diamond Fire ones. Those ones were fucking hella fun. <coughs> Though that that's actually the next brand that was because <coughs> I remember <coughs> like I have it in my phone. I would have to really look. <coughs> I'm high as fuck right now, so. My timeline's a little <coughs> here and there. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, but uh, I just know, uh, I know it was sometime around August and July. And uh, before that, there was a few other collabs. Like I did True North Family Farms. They're uh, they're outdoor greenhouse uh, out of uh, I think Trinity <coughs> or somewhere. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me. So you use uh, greenhouse too sometimes, not just always indoors. Nah, just whatever. Nah, like if people want to uh, pay for my services, 
You'll roll to get their, their stuff to yeah. roll, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, and it's and it's fire, you know, hey, if it's fire, if it's fire, it's fire, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? But if it's not fire, I mean price goes up. Really? If you have to work with some bad weather, <laughs> price goes up. <laughs> no, I, I would just decline, honestly. I would just yeah. humbly decline. I tried, you know. You don't want to put <coughs> your name on any bad work? Right. Oh, shit. Because what happens is the experience isn't as good. Yeah, and that's what you, you built know? the whole platform for. Right. It's for the best. So it's like, if it's fire, like, it's fire. Like, it could be fire-ass outdoor. Like, what the fuck? Like... Jay, Jay the plant uh, speaker that mm-hmm. dude grows From fire Oregon. ass out or like mm-hmm. and it's greenhouse and it's fire yeah if you guys don't know check out Jay plant speaker for real he's up check in Oregon out. he has one greenhouse like 12 plants he's known for and he grows some it, Killer, I've never got bro. to try it but this, it's sour and GMO shout out to Uncle Jesse's collective too you feel me you might get lucky and get some from him um, are there any specific <coughs> strains that you seek to try to like keep in your uh, um, your offerings, or do you kind of just go with uh, whatever the farms have at the time? <coughs> Honestly, bro, that's one thing I want to do is get me a uh, get me a little strain for myself. <coughs> I need some I need some hazelnut terps. So if y'all got some seeds out there with some hazelnut taste, let me know. I need a... I can't lie, though. Uh, I have yet to try the fucking lemon up. I want to try that shit. From Cushington? Yeah. I, I wonder if it's the either. actual, like, lemon flavor, like... We had a cut back in the day that was a sherbet lemonade. And yeah. we got the seeds from Loud THC because one of his rooms accidentally harmed. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it had those type of turks. Fried dad, bro. Uh, yeah, I know. Nice. That was fucking <coughs> fun, bro. I'm ripped right now of that shit. Are there any specific, like, rolling papers that you like to always use, or do you mix Bro, them yeah, man, I like OCBs, bro. I OCB. can't lie. Double XLs, man. Experts. Amazing papers, bro. Like the brand's been around for like a hundred years or something, hasn't it? Yeah, like they're finally gonna be uh, releasing uh, on the mainstream, like in everywhere you can find double uh, XL OCBs, um, which are the king size for like elements and like raw. But these ones are like buy them. How do you mm-hmm. stay updated on like the latest trends in like joint rolling or like papers? Are there, is there like a website or do you go to any trade well, shows that help you like R and D new types? Well, honestly, uh, I was using uh, Elements for a while, mm-hmm. but the consistency and like being able to find authentic like their papers because like they're knocked off by a lot of Chinese companies. Um, so a lot of times you might go to a head shop thinking you're getting their uh, yeah. Elements and they're just cheap knockoffs. Right. Yeah. Right. So. So then it's like, uh, I met the guy, uh, I met him, and, uh, I think it was the Emerald Cup Awards. Yeah, they were there. Yeah, and I met him, and uh, I was telling him, I was like, hey, you know, this is what we do. And he goes, hey, I'm with that. Let me get your number. And then he just supplied me with major boxes of the OCB double XLs. Oh, so those aren't even available yet. No, That's how he, you got those. Yeah, he yeah. sent he sent them from uh the either was Canada or France. No shit. Yeah. Okay. So are they available overseas already but just not in Yeah, they're yet? they're they're available there but not over here, but they will in in a few weeks. <coughs> Do you have any memorable or unique joint rolling experiences that you, <coughs> that come to mind? Man, uh, you know, every day is a memorable one. Learning, you know, every day is a learning experience, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the best. Like, I just understand the concept and I, I, I learn my how I roll the best yeah. for me. Yeah. You know, and then like everybody else has their own techniques, mm-hmm. you know, and I can't train everybody to roll like me because not everybody rolls like me. They, yeah. Some people roll right to left, some people roll left to right. Mm-hmm. And uh, I can roll both sometimes, it just varies, but <coughs> for, the most, for the most part, I'm like, 
left to right. Mm -hmm. Was there anything that you had to overcome as a ruler yourself that really improved your game? Uh, oh yeah, the tuck game. The what? The tip. For really? your, that makes yeah, a big difference? the tuck on your tip, for sure. Yeah? Yeah, because uh, some people use like their little glue, and like, that's cool, but like we probably not using that like glue or nothing because mm -hmm. like some people can't get it so they just like put a little glue on there like oh it's good mm -hmm. and I'm like nah where's mm -hmm. the, the craft nah yeah. <laughs> but you know it's cool yeah to secure the tip inside the joint. yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. they just put glue and but with me, with us you know we just make sure we it's a little you, tighter you do it in the roll that's how you, you lock it in yeah yeah <clears throat> it's like building a pyramid right the blocks yeah. are just locked in it, it what literally tips do you use? I like the organic <coughs> tips, if, you know what I mean? Majority organic tips. Wood? Yeah, yeah. wood. But we all love glass, though. I can't lie, though. I can't. I love it. It is nice. I, I, I'm a rec tip user, you know, and uh, I have a few uh, proper doink uh, rip tips, you know. I don't really you use reuse those. them? Yeah. yeah. I just wash them with some nice, good old 99. I almost got some acid in my eye earlier uh, the other day, <laughs> yesterday. I was like, Jesus. Have you ever done any rolling for like any special occasions, like somebody's wedding or like a reunion? Yeah. Maybe? Have you? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. type of events have you done? Um, we all know you did Hash Hole Holiday, so you threw that whole event. Well, we did like, we do little events, you know, little like mixers and like, it just varies. Like yeah. whatever, if people want to pay us to do but their little, available. you know, then we're available. Yeah. And how do they get it? We, we might not come in a suit, <laughs> but we, you never know if you pay us enough, we might come in a suit. No. <laughs> but, you know, we, we come as us, you know, and we bring the vibes. And, uh, you know, we're always here to just spread a good ass time, you know? Um, yeah. You ready for another dab? I am. I'm ready. Let's fucking go. <coughs> oh, fuck. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Are you fucking ready? They're still in there. Hell yeah, we got like 15 solid. Wait, 14, 15. 14 people going hard yeah, with us. Yeah, let's For go. our next dab, we're going to be going in at 700 degrees. God damn. And for our fourth dab of the day, but actually we've been ripping bonus dabs, so it's just I four like or seven hundred. was a seven hundred, no. <laughs> this one is gonna be Blue Mosa. This is one That's of my fire. favorite strains, yeah. I love a good, that shit has a nice little citrus terp in there. And I save this towards the end because it tastes uh, good at uh, high temperatures. So, it should treat us well, especially if we're going in at the right D2T. Yeah. So what do you think? Yeah. Half gram dabs? Fuck, uh, uh, 700? I think it like point seven. Okay. Point seven. Point seven it is. You know. But point before, seven with the seven. Before we point go seven in, with the seven, yeah! <laughs> we got a little thing here called... Jesus. The Rosin Roulette Wheel. This is the Rosin Roulette Wheel, presented by Rosin Evolution. Oh shit, yeah. This bad boy has a couple bonus choices that we could land on to enhance our experience. You want to spin it? Well, why not? Hell yeah. All right, give it a spin. Let's see what All we right, you on. guys let me know what I get. What I get? What I get? Seven hundred. So God damn! Yeah, Seven hundred. <laughs> the wheel has decided. It was meant to be, you feel me? So we're going to do point I seven. With the seven, it at was meant seven. to be. Yeah, Let's go, two I'm ready. Point sevens at 700, so that's triple sevens. Let's go. When you do your hash holes, are there any specific flavors that you've uh, uh, I like found? to pair? Yeah, that oh, you like Oh man, yeah, I do, I, I like to. So like if we got good flour, we got some good sweet flour, you know, we're going with the uh, Usually something gassy, almost like a fermented fruit gas, or like you know, like a, a fruit with mixed with a little bit of papaya, or like, or I mean, some GMO or some some type like fatso or some type of gas gas. Like, like contrasting flavors seem to pair the best. Right. So like, uh, and then, 
And then, uh, Fuck. You were rubbing the fuck out of that. Yeah, like, <laughs> That's the only thing we shit. asked him not to do. He's yeah. got yeah. himself <laughs> down for a wire. I know, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> Can't tell me not to do shit. <laughs> no, but um. So what do you think about pairing like the same flavor with the same flavor? Oh no, that shit's dope. We do do that. Uh, we do that with Dream. I was gonna say those are some of the best pre rolls I've ever had in my life. Yeah, those ones we do the uh, flavor pairing. We do uh, like Uva, flour. Uva, right? Uva, on Uva. We That's do uh, fire. Shout out Dream. We're gonna Magic. do Skittles on Skittles. You know, they're flour with that flour, uh, rosin. We're gonna be doing the, uh, um, I believe it's uh, the so oh, Jeep. GBP. You remember what he told you it was? Yeah, great banana pie. Uh, yep. No, a uh, great banana um, papaya. papaya. Yeah. That's it, pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fire. You know what I'm saying? It's and it's it's amazing. Damn, check that out. Yeah, shout out Kim Jong Rosen. Shout out to Kim Jong. Our boy kills it, man. He's been yeah. giving me. Yeah, this smells amazing. Here, let's show everybody at home. This mm -hmm. is the G P P, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like some fucking yeah, yeah, tongue twister. G D P type shit. Like yeah. it's like some world, world currency. But this is just a jar of hash from our good friend, who makes some fire. As you can see, it's like fresh press, but it's just starting to nucleate a little bit. It looks beautiful. The nose on it is awesome. Shout yeah. out, our boy. Yeah, shout out. Some big fire. We got point sevens. Let's go. And we're gonna have to heat these up to seven hundred. Too bad degrees. we can't ninja dab ourselves. I know. We could we if we could. had more dab tools. I'd say we could ninja dab ourselves with some of this Kim Jong. That's fresh press though, isn't it? That's just gonna be hard to get out of there, isn't uh, it? I don't know. I don't never really uh I clean it really well. Here. Let's go. Oh, he has them. Shout out Apex Ancillary for having the tools on Yeah, deck. no, and these things are badass, yeah, bro, right? actually. Look, this is a big right in there. This is Katana. Damn, that's, one? no, this one is my shit right here. This is, it's like. Are there any specific tools that you use? for? I like timbers, work? bro. I ain't yeah. going to lie. I'm about to hit them up and ask if we could do a collaboration. Yeah. Yeah, they're tight. What about uh, for like when you do your rolls? Are there any tools? Or oh, any yeah, we use or? like, you know, we use the little tool, like the little heat up tool. I'm not going to lie, that'd be cool to have like a rolling brand yeah. heat up tool. Yeah. Instead of using the Puffco or yeah. using the um, Focus V. Yeah. Like our own shit. And oh, have you on mean the like other. the heated dabbers? Yeah, yeah and then, like and the then have on the other end like the stuffer tool. Oh shit, just gave you guys a million dollar idea. Damn, the live caught it. If you're watching Patreon, you just got a million dollar idea. We're going to cut that out because uh, we're going to be <laughs> releasing these in about three months. Yeah. The, C the CGO slice and dice. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, tamper and fucking uh, um, hot knife. This is a self serving ninja dab, courtesy. Yeah. Of so. Kim Jong Rosin. If he was here, he'd be doing it himself. Yeah. So we're going to do it in his spirit. Yeah, this is what we're doing it for. See, you're always here with us. Homie. Big dog. Big dog. This is at 700, so we're going to have to get these bitches hot. I'm ready. Are there any specific textures that you prefer when you uh, do... For, for uh, hash holes? Yeah. Um, hash. Bro, I can't lie. Like, I, If I could have it my way, bro, I'd be rolling in a cold room for fresh press. And then having like some fresh press rolls, bro. Fresh press rolls are fire. It's just a bitch. To, it's really just a sucks to uh, work with. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only thing. So cold cure is the easiest, but you prefer fresh press when you can. If I could, yeah, yeah. I definitely would. If I had Why, it my way. Why do you way. think you can taste a? a, a uh, the turps are a little bit different, bro. Yeah. And and then like as it cures. Like over time, because like it's, they're not gonna keep it refrigerated. They're not gonna keep it in the cold. You know, they're gonna let them sit out. So what happens is, the uh, the oils, the oils in the fresh press, like are gonna like, you know, that they, they would absorb, they but get they're absorbed not. They're, into get, the flour. Yeah, they get absorbed into the flour. So then, in, the, it kind of like, like chalks up, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So then, like. Yeah, and then it, they, it just cures a little different, and then, yeah, I don't know. I need to learn some more science. <laughs> <laughs>
I just know it just the fire. It'll be coming out really good. What about for flower? Do you prefer like fluffier weed? Some nah, some I like I like it. It doesn't matter, honestly. Uh, I up. I really don't like the the really fresh weed though. Like some people have like not even the first week they're like all right can you roll this up it's still wet. what <laughs> like, bro, this shit, you need to give this shit like two weeks to cure like let this shit cure up. make let this shit be really nice and they were like no i want to roll it now i'm like but then i guess you could say like people are like oh i want fresh terps like i want it to be a fresh roll you know and then it cures yeah so like it just varies Oh, damn, Big Dog's already in his 700. Fuck. I'm hella slow. Woo. It's getting smoky in this bitch. <coughs> damn, Big Dog. <coughs> How did yeah. the actual holiday come to fruition? Bro, when when after the Hashel Island event, people were like, what's next? Bro, I was like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> so how'd you come up? <laughs> so then, oh, so, so then like, I remember, uh, like, I remember like, you know, the 1130, like, I remember like it being a little trap show in SAC. So then I was like, oh, 1130 would be tied to be a holiday because like 710 and 420. But then I remember uh, a few <coughs> people were saying, hey, Adam Ill been repping 1130 as a holiday uh, just as 1130. And I was like, oh, so it doesn't have a name. So I'm just like, well, fuck, bro. Let's fucking adopt it. Let's fucking. Like, fuck it, bro. We'll bring 11.30 even bigger. We'll bring in a fucking national holiday. We'll bring a holiday and fucking we'll bring... You already have yours. You've been doing it. Like, he has his following, you know, and then, like, we crushed it. Like, it was pretty cracking. I had fun. And, like, there wasn't, like, a lot of people didn't really go... Too many people didn't go all the way into the back, like, you know, as we wanted. But, like, because people didn't know. Mm -hmm. So, it was, like, kind of sucked, you know. No, I thought it was awesome. But it was it lit. Was a great I, event, I had hell of fun. Like, man, I can't lie. Like, it was, it was, it was cool, man. And that's cool. He worked with lit. Adam. He was here, and he showed us all blaws and, um, and that's just the, that was the first time I've ever heard of it too. Was when he was. Talking, yeah. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Eleven thirty. And then when I saw you guys were doing a holiday, I was like, holy shit, it is real. Yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, he had his little area, too, as well. He had a little area. My high ass forgot to heat up my dab. We're at 700 burn. degrees. So I know, it. 700. It's got to be high as fuck. All so right. how'd you end up getting Burner involved with your event? Oh, man, that was... I manifested that shit. Really? That, nah, I've been working. Like, well... Honestly, like, you know, I've been supporting, like, I, I, I flew out, I went and supported the grand openings and little out-of-state ones and shit, and, like, you know, I, every time I seen him, I always gave him some rolls, you know, and he was like, man, he was like, every time you ever gave me some rolls, bro, they were really fire, they were always fire as fuck, and then, like, oh, damn, I keep going up. <laughs> so then, so then, like, I just hit him up, bro. I just like, fuck, I'm going to message him. And I'm like, like, see if he answers. I'll just like, hey, what's up, bro? You know, I'm, you know, I'm about to be trying, uh, we're going to try to uh, create a, a holiday for hash holes, you know, and it's, you know, how, how hash holes been, the, the, like, it's just the notoriety of it been building up now. And everybody's like really becoming like rollers and like, it's just, it's just blowing up. Um, we want to create a holiday. It'd be dope to have you there, like you know, in a capacity of like you know, pretty much like you're the, you're the go. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like so, it's like gonna have the biggest of the biggest there mm -hmm. to dub it. Like what better what better support could you have? Mm -hmm. You know. So then it was like I just hit him up, and then he hit me back. He was like, "Hey, I'll hit you back." He was like, "I hit you back." I, was like, I didn't know what the fuck it meant, but <laughs> I was like, "All right, shit, that's gonna be tight." <laughs> So then, oh, there we go. All right, done. They, they didn't get, no one got to see that. Whoever didn't get to see the live, that was your bad. It's you deleted. It, Patreon. Yeah, but now we're going to take this hot-ass dab. <clears throat> 
So then he ended up getting back to you? Uh, yeah, well, uh... Oh, back 700. Oh, shit. Watching this right now and saying, "Get up in there, big dog." <laughs> God damn. <coughs> Fuck. Yeah. So Burner ended up hitting you back and saying, "Oh no!" So then, um, so then I was like, "Oh, I didn't know what the fuck that meant." So then, <coughs> I'm. I have a good relationship with with Big Candy Powers. That's Big Dog. That's a, uh, you know, that's Big Bro. So then, uh, this um, I just told him I was like, damn, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, man, I really want Burner to come to my event. He goes, damn, bro, you know that nigga don't do nothing for free. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, I know. <coughs> I was like, I got some money. <coughs> You know, I was like, I got some money to spend, mm -hmm. and it was it was high. It was a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, his prices are up there. You know, for mm -hmm. him to, to come to perform or anything like show up, like do meet and greets and all that. Mm -hmm. So he was just like, you know, I'm gonna give you some love, bro. He was, I fuck with you, you know. Like I said, he was like, every time I get him roles, he was like, it was a, uh, it was always love. He was like, it was always fire. <clears throat> so then um so then um Ken's like oh, I hollered at him. He was like, uh he's like, what do you say? He's like he said he gonna he said he hit you up already. He said he gonna holler at you when he get back from New York. So then he gets back from New York and he ain't me back. I'm always like, fuck, what's going on? You know? I'm just like, well fuck. I'm like stingy. I know Stingy. Stingy's the homie. You know, uh, courtesy, you know, my cousin introduced me to Stingy, Psycho GD at Money 916. So then uh, I had a relationship with Stingy. <coughs> and I told him, I was like, hey, if you could holler at Burner, just let him know, <coughs> you know, <coughs> about the holiday, doing the little, you know, popping up. <coughs> and then. He hollered at him, then Burner called me the next day, and I'm like, I didn't even know who the fuck it was. He was like, hello? I'm like, who the fuck? And he was this Burner. I was like, huh? He was like, oh, yeah, it's Burner. I was like, oh, shit, what's up? And then, so I was just, you know, just talking about it, and then he was like, yup, it's good. But, <clears throat> yeah, it's crazy. He agreed to it right there. <clears throat> yeah, and then I <clears throat> went and met with him, gave him his money, <clears throat> came out, he meeted and greeted the people, he performed like five, six songs. It was lit. Mm -hmm. It was tight. Yeah, that's amazing, dude. Yeah. So you, you did make it happen. It came to fruition. <laughs> yeah, it did. It was crazy, bro. It was like, it was amazing, bro. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't believe it, honestly. And from here, are you guys planning to do another one on the yeah. same, same oh. day next year? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be on Friday, though. <laughs> it's going to be on Friday. It's going to be Friday, baby. Um, so, <laughs> and you mentioned the Hassel <laughs> Island Day. Is that going to be on the weekend, too? <coughs> Actual Island's gonna be on a weekend. I'll make yeah. sure <coughs> I pick a weekend day. <coughs> How's Damn, that, Dad? That's just creeping up, bro. Yeah, right. Fuck. Uh, one of the questions somebody asked was, "What projects are you working on going forward? Do you know any collabs that you have coming uh, out yes, in the next so, couple months?" So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing recreational drops. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we already been pairing up different brands with uh, cannabis brands, different cannabis uh, concentrate brands. And then our, uh, me, the brand, uh, the company, right? Uh, we're gonna be uh, dropping our own rolls on the rec market. Um, <coughs> first drops, we're gonna be doing um, Codra Verde, and uh, I believe <coughs> we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk to Kalia. I would like to do Kalia. 
on the first rec job with their brand and their flower and then doing uh floor and flame with shout out uh, chris shout out to chris and then uh moon valley oh, dude, <coughs> cannabis. all those guys are fucking awesome <coughs> yeah i'm high so you gotta give me a second <laughs> <coughs> um yeah so we're gonna be doing a i'm trying to do about six skews the first drop so there's choices yeah but i need a minute <laughs> uh, while we take this minute <coughs> shout out to the astralux um <coughs> swollen heads gifted me a couple of these <coughs> at ego clash this is the strawberry fields freeze dried vegan cannabis melts they're 30 milligrams per serving and there's 150 milligrams per tube. This is hash rosin infused space ice cream. So it's freeze dried ice cream. So you can store these at room temperature, but once you crack the top, you have to eat them like in a couple hours, I believe. Was, oh, actually a few minutes after you crack it. So they stay good until you crack it. These are 30 milligrams a piece, and these are some of the most amazing edibles I've ever had. That shit's fire. Shout out to Astra Lux. Wow. Oh, yeah, don't mind if I do. Hell, my throat. <clears throat> Shout out to Astro motherfucking Lux. This is one of the best edibles I've ever had. This shit's like <coughs> space ice cream. It's crazy, right? <coughs> Oh, I just fucking shattered mine. <coughs> God damn. <coughs> Dave? Ooh, did you catch it? <coughs> that was nice. That was dope. Yeah. Fuck. <coughs> <coughs> That motherfucking dab is picking up on me. How do you think the experience of smoking hash and cannabis joint differs from consuming them each separately? Oh man, yeah, I feel like, man, I feel like it complements itself, but then sometimes like when people don't know how to pair it, it ruins the experience and it sucks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you can't just automatically assume you can toss some uh, mid-grade yeah, you rosin can't just... in and it's going to be a better joint. <coughs> right, you can have fucking some fire-ass fucking flour and throw some mid-ass rosin in there and that shit's going to taste like shit. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do about it? Mm -hmm. You know, do you want to spend, you know, like the average 60, 50, 70, Depends shit. You want to spend a hundred, you know, a grand? Shit gets expensive. It does. <coughs> and how much do you usually put inside <coughs> each when you do your rolls? Like, what sizes do you offer? <coughs> like, we do, like, assortments of sizes. We, know, we do custom orders. We do uh, What's anywhere standard? from, like, uh, a point seven with the point two, mm -hmm. all the way to like a whole eighth with a gram or more, Damn. whatever. So it just varies what you want to do. Like, yeah. you know, if you want to do 1.5 with the point five, you want to do 1.7 with point three. It, it's like so many variables, yeah. you know, <clears throat> different ratios. People like try to, <clears throat> what's the word for it? <clears throat> Budget <clears throat> yeah. with flowering rosin ratios yeah. in order to uh and like make a better profit because mm -hmm. it's like you know at the end of the day people want to try to make some money too yeah. and, and give a product <laughs> that's fire at a low cost to the people so that way they can consume fire products on the rec market and that's my job mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying to create find find the good product out there put it together so people that don't know how to roll can get it mm -hmm. you know taste making yeah. Speaking of making taste. Yeah, curating the motherfucking experiences. <sighs> Are you ready to curate our final dab experience? In a minute. <laughs> <coughs> Need some water. Where'd that water go? Can we please get another bottle of water? Whew. Have you ever encountered like any challenges or 
unexpected hurdles when it comes to rolling hash holes. Have you ever had anything that's like maybe too terpy and it seeps through and creates a uh, yeah. burn or anything like that? Uh, man, bro, I would say uh, too sometimes too fine of a grind. Thank you, sir. For the flour. Thank yeah, you. that creates a fucking uh, clog. Like uh, when it saturates. Oh shit. Uh, when you have like a too fine of a grind, it, it'll like, like cement it. Yeah, it just like <sighs> you ain't hitting shit. You know. Yeah. So you actually keep it a little bit chunkier to mm. provide like more air pockets through. Yeah, for my uh, for my grinder, I'm using a flour mill. Flour mill. Yeah, flour right. mill. Any other tech that people should know about? <coughs> They're trying to start rolling the uh, high quality uh, hand rolls. <clears throat> well, I mean, it gives you a consistent um, grind. It, it, you know, there's different types of uh, what is the word for it? Uh, uh, different types of uh, uh, grinds. So, like, you have like fine, you have ultra fine, you have coarse. You know. Um, all in the same grinder so yeah and it's a uh, interchangeable blades so oh, that's cool. yeah it's pretty cool i really enjoy it you know so like when i roll like leaves like i'll roll like i roll mine different so it's like i would use the the most coarse grind mm -hmm. and then i'll uh, use a fine grind and then i'll put the coarse on the bottom and then i'll put the uh, fine on top and then i'll put my hat i'll get my rosin and I'll lay my snake right there, so it's a nice patty, so it's like rough on the outside. Cause like, you know, when you're smoking a backwood, you know, or leaf, you know, like, cause like, you know, we have people out there that like to smoke them. So like, I want to be able to give them the best experience. Yeah. So like, oh, that's a fucking hole, look. Like, you know? Yeah. So it's a, uh, that's, cool. so that's just hard. That, that technique. Yeah, like, and like, I usually, sometimes like, if I don't want to use a, a tip, I'll use like a, a a pretty much like a nice little nug, a nice fat chunk of nug of weed. Put it at the end? Yeah. And, and it's it like a mouth tip. Yeah. yeah. Keeps it open. Yeah, and then it's like, you know, you know how like sometimes it, it, like the weed comes into your mouth and Scooby shit. Scooby Snacks, we used to call them. Yeah. What do you call them? It's fucking Scooby Snacks. Yeah. That's kind of universal. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck, Comment that down right there what got you me high. Call it when you get weed in your mouth when you're smoking a joint or a blunt. Call them fucking up. hate that shit. All right. That shit's gross. What are some of your other pet peeves when it comes to... Oh, you like know what really grinds my gear? Yeah, when you smoke somebody else's rules and what do you oh. fucking hate when, when it happens? Oh man, don't ask that man's joint. Don't ask my joint. Just let it, let let it, it stay. Let it fall where it may. Yeah. Yeah. Because sure. that's incubating that burn uh, yeah you know we just want to you know and then like sometimes people don't understand like when you're smoking you know you want to give it a nice pull or two and then you know let it sit for a good 10 15 seconds let it cool itself down it's just like a hot just like a dab you know you want a nice cool dab you know you want a nice cool hit on the joint too mm -hmm. so what it does it regulates the heat with the ash and then it um when you go to hit it again like it's a better it's more cooler so yeah. when you hit it you taste the terps a little more yeah so you know. don't drag it hard like a cigarette yeah you want well you want to hit it for like a nice good pool like a yeah. nice good drag like one and then two let it rest you know and then let it rest yeah but like you want to you don't want to like continuously like pull 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 like you could do pull 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 mm -hmm you want but it just varies for yeah. like it just varies on the smoker because yeah. some people are like they'll fucking oh yeah bro i'd be like damn yeah no not to smoke with you again yeah. <laughs> what else what um, else do you hate oh when they grab it from the from the meat the and not from the, yeah, yeah like in, 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 yeah, in the <laughs> yeah, i'm like god that's a tip right I there but it'd be like they don't know so but then you don't know so like then you take the time to educate yeah. you know that's if what you, this is all about that's what it's about it's educating i love education because like you know like you're you're educating me too right now like you know the ratios d2t yeah d2t right yeah. that's your son yeah it just sounds like you got to get one made like fucking uh r2d2 <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't tell Simmy though. He's gonna try to sue all of us for all of our sayings. Uh, huh? All right. Yeah. Shout out nah, Patreon. He, uh, 
he be having fucking all the well I thought Cannabis Chris uses a lot of the uh, the um, Star Wars Cannabis Chris does for sure <laughs> Shout out Cannabis Chris. Shout out to Cannabis Chris. Third place at the Ego Clash this year. Yeah, shout out to the other Chris too. The other Cannabis Chris. And yeah, well, no, that one Chris, uh, not Compound Chris, because he's not Compound anymore. Oh, but it's Chris. Uh, Cipher. How's that? His? Yeah, that's a new brand. They got oh, yeah, second. Cipher. Yeah, yeah, I got second. Cipher. Yeah. yeah. Shout door out flower, to Chris. Door flower. Yeah. Yeah. Good shout out to that Chris. No. I didn't know who it was at first when they said the name, but then yeah, I found that out. Yeah, shout him out. Yeah, because what flower did he have, though? I have no clue. I heard that. Because I was looking for was that crazy. shit. What number was it? Because I was looking for it. I was We were rolling it. So How many joints did you have to roll? The whole team. Like, bro, the, shout out to Bruno and his team and fucking Turkey Bag Tom and fucking shout out to uh, my team. You know what I mean? Shout out to uh, everybody, you know? Super Smoke and Idle Hand Rolls and all them guys, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys killed it. They rolled like 400 joints. 400? Plus, probably like 500 joints. Like all, there was like 8 or 10 almost rollers. Holy shit. So this is one competition we're talking about. It's the Ego Clash in NorCal. And they had an indoor and sun-grown competition this year. Yeah. First year they Bro, had that. Bro, that was like 70, many. almost 60, 70-ish entries and how many 30, 30, so you had to do like a couple joints of every entry to 10, pass around 10 10 each holy shit and there was like it was a little scary <laughs> it's cool though what was your favorite one that you saw the one that, that i didn't out? get to see <laughs> 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 i think that's everybody's the stuff yeah the, uh, the, uh, the shit that won that no one got to see because i was looking for it yeah that guy wasn't even there who won i was like what the hell I don't even know what it is to this point. Me neither. I was looking for it. Because, like, we're in charge. We're, we're the ones in charge of that shit. Yeah. And I was like, where the fuck did it go? Yeah. We're, we didn't even get to roll it. That guy uh, that won last year, everybody didn't know who he was either. The flower always becomes, like, a mystery. It ended up being some Mac from Michigan last year. Really? That's crazy. For sure. Well, I mean, shit must have been terpy. No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit, because some, some flower is really good, you know, like... Like, uh, there was some good flour. Like, I I tried, like, I ain't gonna lie. I seen, like, a jar or two, and I smelt it. I was like, oh, I'm rolling this up. Because this shit smells good. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't know. I don't know. I didn't judge. Have you ever rolled any Piatella hash holes? No. How do you think they would do? Um, oh, I lied. I didn't even know it was Piatella at the time, though, because, like, it was just fire ass. Fuck, it was like some 5.5. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It mm -hmm. just sat there for, like, six, seven months. And then you put it in a roll. And then, yeah, I just started rolling it up. I was just like, fuck this. I'm going to roll this shit up. That shit was fire as fuck. Was it? <laughs> Hell, yeah. But it just varies on strain. Yeah, for sure. And how it's cured. Yeah. And how it's, like, you know... How it's how it uh, forms, cause that shit like the way I had, how it was for me like it was like that like in the jar it was like one of my jars like how I had um, had a good about like fifteen grams and it was like a solid nice little cake and I would just slice some shit off and just throw that shit in there put some good flour and that shit would taste really good bro. Mm -hmm. Slice yeah. it off with a knife. Yeah. Got to. Or it's not the timber. Mystic yeah. timber. Mystic yeah. timber. But I need to, I ain't gonna lie, I wanna kinda check out your, um, that, that the them tools. The are sick, dude. Yeah, yeah I gotta, right I gotta those. upgrade too, cause I need a whole, I gotta have, like I have the team members and like, we gotta have like tools like this. Mm -hmm. This shit's baby. Speaking of upgrade. We're about to upgrade to our last dab. Let's go. I'm ready now. You ready? I'm fucking ready. This last dab is going to be at 750 degrees. And it's going to be some super boof. You said you like this oh, shit. I right? love that shit. This is a super boof with Ashok the Guru. Fuck yeah. Shout out to Ashok. This stuff is fire. I'll pull up the camera. Big shout out to Ashok. 
Big shout out to the guru. You know what I'm saying? I got me a nice nail at the house. I didn't bring, I'm sad I didn't bring because now I'm not that heady. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't hit that heady if you ain't got a guru fucking Toro nail. Have you heard that song, Heady Boy, by uh, Nether Friends? Um, it's a good one. I don't think I heard that one yet. Right, check it out. Since this is the last dab of the day, how big of a dab do you think we should go in on? Uh, gram. Gram dab? I think. I think so too. Cause like, that's hot as fuck. Right. Damn. Let me drink some more water for this shit. I'll cut this in half and give you the other half. Making me want to go live for this live well. No, they don't get to see it. It's too bad. The first hour. Last dab. <sighs> this is, all those extra dabs I took are kicking in, and I already ate a couple of those ice creams before the show. I think all those edibles are kicking in too. Yeah, no, that edible is really good. All right, that first one starting, now it's just like kicking in slowly. Mm -hmm. Shout out Glob Mobs for keeping our nails clean this entire episode. Shout out the Vault Nationwide for holding us down with all the flowers in between. Shout out Miyagi Glass. Oh man, donators. shout out to the Miyagi Master. You want to do your last dab out of a Miyagi? Bro, if you do it. I'll do it. I mean, fuck. Actually, I don't think I have another uh, 10 mil nail. I do. Do you? In my, uh, do you want to do my case back there. But since this is our last dab yeah. of the day. But it's a bucket, highly educated. You have a choice. What's up? If you want to play the last dab mini game, you can go in at 900 degrees. Oh, no. And try to take down the trichome tortoise's record. Uh, I'm going to humbly kneel. Decline. I'm going to humbly kneel. Okay, so we're gonna do the 750. Yeah. We're gonna do one gram. This booth is fire, bro. I don't know, Mike. Look out, Trichome Tortoise. We might have a little trick up our sleeve. We can make a purple hatch too, bro. Damn, it looks pretty purple over here to me. Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna get my camera out. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you ready? 750s. Fuck. Let's go. I, my shit's dirty, so I got to <laughs> My shit's low-key chasm right now. Should have put this back on the disorder. I need need some alcohol. I mean, not alcohol, some uh, butane. Oh, you need butane? Yeah, my shit is, I think. Well, let me see. Let me see. I ain't even checked. Let's go. What, what you, you going with jar, the pillar dude? in there? Pretty nice. We have to take a dab of it. Yeah, that shit was fire, bro. I took a nice dab too. Yeah. Took it like almost 600. It's like 580. It was like a point four. It was a nice one. Oh wow, that motherfucker's solid. I need to get me a mama guard. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tripping. Shout out mama guards if you use code I had hot dabs. You get a discount. Oh, nice. I'm gonna have to use your code just to grab one. Let me check. Yeah, this shit's empty as hell. Discount code also available at Rosin Evolution. Hot bags. Save on your first order for the best bags paper in the game. The only mesh bags and paper we use. The paper we use to get fourth place. Okay, Eagle Clash in the case Rosam Evolution. How did you like that fresh off the press dab, man? You that shit in, was fire, bro. I, like, kept, I was enjoying it. Yeah. That's why I kept going in. Yeah. Wow, this is fire. Hell yeah, man. Shit, ah. Uh. Have you ever done that before? Nah, that was my first experience and I enjoyed it really much. I was like, uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna just keep it. this. Tastes good. Well, well, you said that was some what again? Julius Caesar, yeah. 
There we go. What advice would you give to a young roller or somebody trying to improve their game? Um, fucking roll hella rolls, bro. And then like, when you ain't rolling, roll some more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you gotta put in some hours before you can even... Let's fucking go. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I'm ready. Let's go. <coughs> I just went in when it said too hot. Because I know. Uh, that's what I was thinking about doing too. You just gonna go in when it says too hot. It's too hot. No, oh, no, I gotta heat it up. It was. It oh, was. I actually got the predator here. Yeah, let's get that out. Bring the predator out. Yo, the predator, brother. There you go. Where you? Where? Oh shit. Where can we get? Oh. Now. <laughs> Fucking clever. <coughs> Where can we get one of those at right there? Where can you get these, Dave? This is the Hick Micro. H I K Micro. Hike Micro. Amazon. Check these out. These are uh, infrared. We call it the Predator because it's like what the Predator sees. <laughs> Lincoln, but no, only if they, Dave. No, let's see what's we're gonna, we're gonna create one and then we're gonna put a link in the bio. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, Patreon, shit. thanks for being here, Patreon. We appreciate you for always joining us and supporting. You get all the behind the scenes coverage. Patreon, we're only gonna let you know where to get these. See? So it's at 822, it's that top number right there that, uh, okay. that's fluctuating. <clears throat> oh shit. Let's go, let's go, it's 7.50, here you go, You're bro. Ahead. Let's go. Come on, go, get the fuck off my head. Damn. Not 7.50, no mo. He oh. flooded it. Whew. So where does, where does CGO go from here? <coughs> What's your plans for the future? Bro. Well, I see they just dropped that new States 2.0 some shit. You know, the product's going to be available. Interstate commerce with cannabis-friendly states. And my goal is to be able to uh, cons be able to get to the consumer that way. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Over there. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking hey, that was a good one. <coughs> what are you looking to accomplish in 2024? Uh, a whole lot of amazing reg drops. Yeah. Yeah. Whole lot of dope fucking drops, and then I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna grow some shit in my backyard. I got a greenhouse, so I was like, oh, why not? I'll just throw some shit back there and uh, fucking wash it. <coughs> some single source. Oh no, I might have the homie Kim Jong. Or I might have to pay him for a class or two. That fool can grow. He can wash some shit. Nico, yeah. Yeah. If anybody knows Kim Jong Rawls and. <coughs> He's been making hash for years. OG in the game. <coughs> Fuck. Look out for the rec drops this year. Now is the point of this show where we're usually too high to talk, so the only thing left to do is to draw. This is a little segment we call High Self Portraits. In this segment, we just draw how we're feeling. Inside, outside, inside. We just know how we feel. Because sometimes it's Fuck. hard to talk. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck, dog. So I got these Excuse crayons me. right here. Jesus. 
<laughs> do you want to clear your rig before we do it? <laughs> good. Now it looks good. <coughs> Fuck, it's still cloudy. Ready? <coughs> Here's your choice. We got some crayons here. Just draw how you're feeling. <coughs> And then maybe we'll use this as the artwork for a little collab. We were talking before the show, and uh, there might be a little CGO Real Deal Resin collab coming out. If you guys are lucky, you might be smoking one of those dark cashels. <laughs> That's how you're feeling right now? Yep. <coughs> if you can feel I me. Mean, <coughs> Jesus. That's my facial expression right now. to show that number two camera up there. Yeah, look at that. Ah, that's me, <laughs> doggy. That's my face. I'm high as fuck. <coughs> Damn, <coughs> can't keep my eyes open. <coughs> Damn. Is this what you thought it was gonna be like? Fuck, bro. The turfs are amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed them. I did. What was your that, favorite? That first one. The garlic juice. Yeah. yeah that's my favorite, man. Nah, uh, because I didn't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take this home with you. No, you sure? Yeah, of course. No, bro, let's fucking put it in something and let me know how it fares. Or actually, no, <coughs> bro, I would not that. do that. Yeah. I would dab that, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is amazing. Making my mouth water already. <sighs> Fuck. <coughs> do you have a, <coughs> a contact that people could be able to reach out to you if they're interested in getting some work done? <coughs> Yeah, no, definitely. If people want to get some drop, if they want to get some rolls done, you could hit me at my IG or I got an email. I'll drop his IG below. You know. What's the email? Email cgoevents916 at gmail.com. Drop it below. Yes, sir. This is and how the, I'm feeling. <coughs> he's in the mountains, yeah, boy. I'm just cool, <coughs> crisp, collected. Right. I'm just fucking like. Feeling, I'm feeling like fuck. I can't keep my eyes open, so. Well, Marcos, you fucking did it. You did the fucking 575. You did the 600. I'm so stoned, I forgot what temps we did, so I gotta look at the board. Thank you guys for having it. You did the 650 fresh off well, the press. I look over there. <clears throat> fresh off the low temp press. You went in five times with the Rosin Evolution <clears throat> paper withstanding all the heat. Yeah. You went back 700 degrees. We did bonus dabs in between, and you did the 750 gram dab. You made it through. Now's your time. Anything you have to say, anything at all, where can the people find you? What do you want them to know? What do you have coming up? That camera behind you, this camera right here on the press, and this camera in the box. This is well, your time. All right, you guys. So... We're gonna have some cool shit coming up, you know, not too much, but you know, we're gonna have something coming. Uh, we'll be in Spain this year. Can't wait to see a lot of my international friends, you know, for those are that are uh, that tune in. If not, I'll make sure to uh, share. <sighs> I'm fucked up right now, give me a second. Uh, and then we'll be, uh, <clears throat> we'll be doing Hash Hole Island. We'll also be having uh, the Olympics because next year uh, the actual Olympics are uh, going down. So we were thinking like, oh, why not have the Olympics and only have that event come around every four years and then have like, <coughs> have even like uh, spinoffs of different segments, like different, you know, like rosin, metal, different, like, um, and having different, like, leaders in the industry conduct those uh, contests, mm -hmm. like, within the whole Olympics, Olympic, like, Cannabis Olympics type shit. Mm -hmm. 
And it only happens every four years. You know when the Olympics happen. Um, so when's that gonna be in the summer? So I was thinking like, well, I don't know. <coughs> I want to talk to some people. Okay. So look out, 2024. <coughs> Olympics. Yeah, because then the next time that event will happen would be in 28. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So it's just like... So you guys better be there or you're going to be waiting four years. So like, yeah. It's like, it's going to be amazing. We have a really big spot too. Man, I'm blitzed right now. What else? Hi. I'm fucking hella high. Spanibus, look out. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Olympics. Yeah, uh, and then we got Hashel Island too. Yeah. Hashel Holiday too. You know, oh, that's gonna be crazy. You know I mean, I was hoping that we could uh, get a lot more different states involved <coughs> because we already had a few states involved, but it's like uh, we want to be able to get it more like worldwide. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, there was these guys, shout out to the Billup boys out there in Canada. They're like, boys. they're like, we're going to celebrate this shit. Shout like, out to the Billup boys. They're like, hash whole day in Canada. I was like, oh, that's lit. The great white north. <sighs> but see, that's the thing. Like, they look at us for influence. And uh, like, he's like, no one out here knows about this. I said, well, then you have to be the pioneer and you have to do it. Yeah. You know? Then people are like, oh, you're the guy. Yeah. But like, you're just, you know, sending a message. Yeah. They're like, hey, look, this is how we build it up. You know, bring it to the masses. Now we have hella rollers. Hella fucking rollers. Like, it's crazy. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it's like, you have OGs that been doing this shit for hell years. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they ain't really ever look for no fame or nothing. They just they, like, get their the money. They're the opposite. People like prefer to keep their faces out of it, you know? <clears throat> yeah, no, shout out to like all the big True ones. True to the craft, you know? Luckily, some of these people are starting to come out though and speak more and be leaders and have, be real people that we need to look up to, you know? Yeah, because there's not enough people. A lot leading. of times the ones that want their faces shown the most aren't the ones that we should be really seeing, you know? Like, bro, I don't even like doing this stuff, but it's cool because it's like at the end of the day, we're going to spread some good messages. Oh, yeah. People are going to be able to learn a lot from this, and we appreciate you for coming on and doing this. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of great feedback from people. Yeah, man. My people from, like, all over, bro. It's crazy. Like, I'm excited to go to Spanibus because I know it's going to be really cool to see people from all over. They, like, all over the Germany. World. Mm -hmm. You got fucking, uh, what is it, uh, like... Am, what is that? Zurich is uh, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Then you got fucking like <sighs> people already in Spain. You got Italy. You got fucking like different people from like even like uh, Colombia everywhere. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. I'm like, damn, there's some Brazilian people. It's just like everywhere. So we'll see you guys next year at Spanibus. Marcos, thanks for joining us today. <coughs> you did great. You made it through. Thank uh, you, everybody at home, for joining us. We'll see you next time. <coughs>